Kirk Ferentz and the Hawkeyes won their third straight bowl game two years ago and then had last year's bowl spiked by COVID. Many bowls seem less important than ever, but as Mark Freund reports, it still matters to the Hawks. Playing in an early January bowl game means sacrificing the Christmas holiday with your family and friends in order to get ready to play another game. But the result of the Big Ten championship game made it easy for the Hawkeyes to get motivated and back on the field. It was rough for us um, and, and everyone, you know, uh, you know, the scout team to the starters to the staff, you know, we uh, we're going to make sure that never happens again. And, and um, I think this whole bowl prep and the practice that we've we've been doing is uh, we've kind of been coming out with that 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 hunger and stuff because of that game. And obviously, you know, you, we didn't perform how we wanted to perform, but, you know, move past that. I think the biggest thing was just, you know, cleaning up some of the mental errors, some of the um, little details I think really cost us. You'll never be able to play a perfect game on offense or as an individual. So just learning from your mistakes, like you said, from the Big Ten Championship and getting to watch that film and hopefully overcoming some of those and, you know, getting better over these last couple of weeks is that's kind of our goal for this game. Yeah, I'll just remind our guys, we, you know, we've won 10 games. We've got a good football team and when we play our best, we've got a chance to beat anybody. What's important is whatever we didn't do well, let's get that cleaned up. And let's make sure our focus is squarely on this, this opponent coming up because that's really all that matters. Iowa will fly down to Orlando on Sunday, the day after Christmas, and six days ahead of the Citrus Bowl against Kentucky. First practice in Florida will be Monday as the Hawkeyes look for an 11-win season, which would be just the fourth time that's happened under Kirk Ferentz. At Kinnick Stadium, Mark Freund, WHO 13 Sports.